to other people to send in their newsletter. You have an affiliate program where you people get pay people commission for introducing uh, their friends and associates and clients to you. You have joint venture partners who, you know, people with big massive mailing lists and newsletters who you give 50% commission or something like that in exchange for them promoting your product to their lists. You can have pay-per-click ads, you know, such as the Google ads. If you ever searched on Google and then you got those little ads that appear on a box on that side, you know, those are pay-per-click ads. In other words, you pay 5, 10, 20 cents a dollar for every click, every time somebody clicks on your ad. So you pay nothing for the ad showing, you only pay if somebody clicks and comes through to your website. <coughs> Excuse me. You can market on web, uh, you know, the social sites such as YouTube, blogs, Facebook and so on. Search engine op optimization is a difficult one but I just thought I'd mention it there. Core registration is also more advanced. I'm not going to talk about some of these things. They're a bit more advanced but I'll tell you where to learn about them. Viral marketing is when you release something that people pass on to each other. Banners, etc, etc. Now the best way to learn, the best thing to you can do for yourself is to learn from the professionals. Guys who are really good at all this because they'll teach you exactly how to do it. And two of the best are the Smart Marketing Coaching Club. Click on that link. In fact, this is really good. And Assaulting the Web. Click on that link. These two will give you the best of the best of the best. Now, you can go to Amazon and buy a book for $14 that gives you a general idea about this. But you may not know how to apply that very well. If you follow these two guys, they're a bit pricey, but they'll show you exactly how to do it in the way that works the best. Because these guys make millions and millions of dollars annually. Um out of this marketing you know so they know what they're talking about and then you need to have a way of collecting money from your sales I mean people are paying you money where do they pay you how do they pay you on the internet I recommend that you use PayPal it's the easiest so click on that and that will take you to the account opening link so you can open an account with PayPal it's free and you can start collecting money from people all over the world via checks and credit cards and then the other thing about commercializing is fulfillment. In other words, if you have DVDs and books that you're selling that are physical, you need a way to um, uh, get them shipped. That's for physical. For on for e digital products, you need a way to have them downloaded. So, if you have a shopping cart or the butterfly marketing website, it's easy to control that. Now, for physical products, you can get what is called a fulfillment house. One of them is disc.com. The other one is called speakerfulfillmentservices.com. All you do is give them one copy of your DVD or whatever it is you need distributed, and then they'll keep it in store. Once an order is placed, a copy of that order goes to them, and they'll guide you through setting up this for yourself. It's very easy. A, a, an email goes out to them with details of who the customer is. They burn a brand new copy of, of the DVD, very professionally done, and they ship it. Then they bill you for that DVD. Cost of, mm, very, uh, the cost are very, the cost structure is very favorable. I mean, these guys will do all the donkey work for you. They'll produce the C DVDs, hold the inventory, se send the stuff, and you don't need to pay upfront. You pay on a per sale basis. So that's fulfillment and commercializing. Then the next part is to create back-end sales. You know, what does that mean? You already have a client list, so why don't you just, you know, go ahead and develop a commercial and friendly relationship with them that benefits everyone? In other words, since you already have a, fr a mailing list, you have a newsletter and a list of clients, you can find good and related suitable products and services from other companies sign up as an affiliate for these companies in other words you sign up so that these guys give you a commission when you bring them customers so you find good products become an affiliate and then tell your client list about these good products whenever they buy you get a commission now try to get a commission of about 30 to 50 percent a lot of companies offer 30 to 50 percent not amazon.com but many others and try and do so with products that are, you know, at least 20 30 $50. Now, here's an example of how this works, and this works brilliantly. If you have a mailing list of 10,000 people, and that's small, there are people with hundreds of thousands or millions of people. Now, if you have 10,000 people on your mailing list, and you let them know about a product that costs $50, and you're getting a 50% commission on that uh, sale, and a lot of companies will give you 50% if it's a digital product, now, assuming 10% of your list likes and buys these products, <coughs> then what will happen is you'll earn 
$25,000 just for telling them about that, for sending that email. How do you earn $25,000? Because you have 10,000 people on your list, uh, they're paying $50 each for the product, but only 10% of them are buying, and you're getting 50% of that revenue. It equates to $25,000. So the back end creates you money for products that are, don't even belong to you. You find people with good products. If you, if you recommend crappy products to your list, they stop trusting you. It's a good products. And then you just tell your, your list about it and you'll make a lot of money. It's very easy. You know, you're helping them find stuff that they need and you're getting paid very well for it. See, the back end is where you get a lot of money, actually. Sometimes even more than the front end. And then, the seventh step, if you care to, is to turn this into a real business. You can leave it as a hobby. I left mine as a hobby kind of site for a long time. You know, I didn't turn it into a real business uh, up until now. Um, and, you know, my record was quite okay for something that you're just running whenever you feel like or, you know. <coughs> but if you want to turn it into a real business, then you'll systemize it and you'll make a lot more money out of it. You'll have a whole lot less hassles. You'll spend less time on it and, you know, it will become an asset. So how do you do that? Well, that's a long story. I'm not going to talk that about that in, uh, uh, over here because there's an excellent... Uh, um, coaching program for it. It's called the Business Growth Systems Coaching Program. I'm, I'm a member of this. It's run by a guy who's run several multi-million dollar um, uh, uh, companies from when he was like in his early 20s. He's, he's brilliant. I mean, I completely recommend this guy. So to go there, just do get your copy, your free copy of this mind map from our website and then click on this link. That'll take you there. So that's about it. Now you know how to um, create a money-making asset and a lifestyle from your strengths. Uh, one way of doing it, and that one way is creating an information product based on those strengths. So thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and it was a pleasure to have you.